In today's video, I am going to be showing you an app that you can use called Coach Lens that allows you to write on your footage so that you can break down your plays and break down the the positives and negatives that your team did in your next film study session. Of course, most teams probably don't run film sessions, but guess what? If you want to be an elite team, this is what you do. So let's get down, let's check out this app. So basically, this app, what we're looking at is the ability to play the footage and allow our players to watch it. It's an, on an iPad, so you can plug it into a TV or a, or a projector or whatever, but we can actually write on the footage. So, for example, if we find a clip that we may want to explain and say, okay, look, this was fantastic. You passed back to Ethan. This is my U12 team. Now, Ethan, you dribbled the ball up court, and you passed the ball back to Keneal because this man in the zone was coming over to guard you. The other team was running a 1-3-1 style zone, and they were not moving. And you noticed that? Keneal noticed that. He was calling for the ball back. We can see his arms up ready for that pass. We can go into slow motion and say, okay, he received that ball, that ball back from Ethan, and now... If we watch that defender, he's only just walking over. This allows Keneal to get that shot off with zero players contesting that shot. That was a great shot, Keneal. So, now by reinforcing the, the shots that they take, even though this is an early possession shot, we didn't do hardly any passing at all. All we did was just one pass, but we got ourselves an open three. Now, you may be a different coach than myself, but... With me, if you've got an open three, you got to take it. That's why in this game, we made 10 threes out of 33 point shots taken. That's 33%. Actually, it was 28 shots, I think it was. If I remember correctly, it was 10 out of 28 that we made. That is over the 33% that you need to be having the three be a good shot or classified as a good shot at the NBA level. 33.3% is the minimum. We hit well over that. And we shoot the three, oddly enough, better than hitting layups. So probably the Steph Curry era, maybe. But either way, we can make these film studies sessions and have them be a lot of fun. We can see here, hey, great job, guys. They got that pass to the middle. We ran our trap that I like to run, and we were able to trap that player with three guys in that corner and we were calling out dead 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 and then we had another player who was in the background who was getting ready to intercept that pass if it was going back to half court that was fantastic great job guys things like that but this app does more than just that you can get an out like an actual straight line you can get your your squiggly line you can get an arrow so you can actually make ideas of where players need to go you can get squares, circles, whatever. But my favorite, my favorite right now, especially when you start doing actual uh, like breakdowns of player shots, is we can zoom in with two fingers. Uh, I'm gonna give you an, a hint right now. I helped, I helped develop this app in a sense where I was giving ideas as to what they need in the app to make it perfect for me, which will make it obviously perfect for you. Now, we can say, we can look at shots and we can say, okay, Keneal, you did a fantastic job. You got 90 degrees roughly on your legs. You got roughly 90, 100, and actually 108 degrees on your hips. So you could actually use your lower back just a bit more. But if we actually look at your release, we can see that if we go and, of course, right there, we see that we, of course, need to have a higher release if we want to make more shots. However, if we actually play this through, you made this shot because when the ball was coming down to the rim, we can actually see that when it hits the rim or where it hits the rim, it's coming down at roughly 40 to 42 degrees. You want to be between 40 and 45 degrees for it to hit the rim optimally so that it's not too much gravity pushing down on the shot for it to bounce out but not, not not shallow enough for the rim to look super small. So the actual the actual uh, ball coming down is at the perfect degree. So even though you're not releasing high enough, the ball's still getting up there high enough so that you can have the perfect drop. So good job, Camille, in this clip. And you can go through and actually break down so much so that you can actually teach your team so much more. Apps like these 
are something that every coach needs to do needs to use so that they can improve their team faster. This is great information that players need, but they don't get unless or until they get to the elite level or until they get to that college uh, U19 AAU elite uh, Nike bounce type stuff where until they get to that huge level, prep school level, they're not getting it. But you can offer this at a young 10-year, 11-year, 12-year-old age group that they don't normally get. So definitely go check out Coach Lens. It's down in the description below. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. We ended up winning this game by 43 points. And I'll see you guys again next time.